Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. With Flexi Bonding, which was introduced in Anime Studio 9.5, we now have more control over how our characters react to the bone strengths, or your objects, wherever you place bones. So as an example, we have a character rigged up here. He has separate layers and all that, but we haven't bound him to any bones. And if we look at the bone strengths, we can see what's going on here. They're pretty minimal. Um, they hug the limbs and such pretty good. But when you take a look here with the Manipulate Bones tool, just playing around here on frame zero, you can see when we move these limbs that we don't get an effect that looks all that great. I mean, it's kind of a cool distortion effect, but it's probably something you don't want going on typically with a character when you're animating with bones. So what we can do here is use the new flexi binding feature. So first we'll select the front arm and with your select bone tool, you want to click on the first bone, hold and shift and click on the other bones and then go up to bone, use selected bones for flexi binding or control shift F. This is going to isolate these bones specifically for the binding. Now we'll do the front leg. Make sure you deselect the arm bones before selecting the leg bones or else you ha have some issues here that are not fun to deal with. Once you select those leg bones, go back to use selected bones for flexi binding and you can use Command Shift F if you're on a Mac. The body will only use the body bone. Don't try using your anchor bone. Again, that could uh, lead to some undesirable effects. Bone, and then use selected bones for flexi binding. And of course, you can probably see here we have a pattern. So the back leg, make sure only the back leg bones are selected and flexi binding and then the back arm. We'll select those three bones and then go to bone, use selected bones for flexi binding. Now, taking the manipulate bones tool, we can move this around and we still get that nice cartoony bendy look that bone strengths give us, except now they are isolated. So where we applied this flexi binding is where it will affect only in these limbs. And that can make things a lot easier now when working with your bone strengths. Now originally, before 9.5, you could do this, but you had to use the offset bone tool and it required a bit more work. And you can still do that, except now flexi binding gives you more options and I would say saves you time. So if you'd like more information on Anime Studio, you can visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.